Hello everyone, I hope you're having a wonderful day. Yes, my filming and my scheduling is a little off from normal. I, I think I mentioned it, if I haven't, I was helping to substitute a kindergarten class. I was checking to see if my fingers were stained. Um, just an occupational hazard, I guess. Anyway, so I've been substituting kindergarten. I did for two and a half uh, days this past week, and I don't know if I'll have to this following week, depending upon when the teachers in the classroom and if they have another sub or not. So I want to make sure I get some of these videos done, even though normally I take Saturday off. I'm trying to work today. So in case I have to take more days off next week, um, I will be not too far behind. So we have some journals and supplies from Yvette and a couple of journals from, I think it's Christine. We'll get to that in just a minute, but can we all take a second to ooh and awe over this gorgeous cover? Yvette does her own beading. So this is all uh, beaded. Isn't that beautiful? Wow. Just gorgeous. And this tassel, I mean, whew beauty. So I'm very, very excited to see this journal. Links are posted in the description box below. You just go to my website and you'll find everything that hasn't already sold. This is called Vintage Paris. And if I can get the paper out, uh, Rach and Bella Crafts. So Paris kit. The bead applique was by her. Yes, I figured that out. The little booklet in the front. And it's a gorgeous um, kit and I love her style. Yvette always adds these little sweet doodles, places to journal. They're just so fresh and pretty and different. Really gorgeous. Got pinks and Paris themes, um, quotes, florals, clusters. I love the heart page. I see some Bible verses in here. So inspirational. This tassel's in my way. So pretty. I'm pretty sure that this will be a favorite. Lovely. Music paper. journaling card. Love the roses. Ooh, an embossed heart page. Little embossed polka dots on it. Little hand-stitched journal card. Place to write on the back. Love those florals. Beautiful. Whew. What a journal. Here, my boys in the background. It is a Saturday. I thought I would have quieter videos now that they're in school, but my life has gotten crazy too with the substituting and all of that. Um, so Yvette has some supplies we'll look at after we finish going through the journals because I have some journals from another artist that I want to share with you. I love this texture and paint to this handmade cover. Will Fear to Lee on the front. I think these are from Christine. Yeah, Chris Sanders. Um, let's see. This is Fear to Lee. It is a sweet little pink journal again. I was going to guess more purple, but I guess that's a purple pink. Little. It's a nice size. It's a little more of a narrow, narrower size. Beautiful. Look at those papers. Coffee dyed. I love the edge punching. What I love about this is she edge punched a textured piece of cardstock. This is a heavyweight textured piece. So when you edge punch it, this is not likely to break off. When you're edge punch like coffee dyed paper or very thin papers, they can kind of rip and tear edge punching something nice and sturdy like this gives a really solid but delicate look. That is pretty. So Fear to Lee. And then Chris sent this one as well. There's a little bird cage on the front, a little um, painted, maybe gold 
painted Coventry Carol music, English, English music. That's not what I meant to say. I don't know what I meant to say. <laughs> this is Birdcage. It's a little smaller than Fear de Lee, or as far as narrower and shorter. Look at this. Die, I think it's a die cut tag. Look at how pretty that is. There's some, dang whoop. there's some dangles on some of their tabs, and then there's dangles hanging on the tabs. One thing I'm noticing here is these flowers in the corner. If you're wanting to write in them, you're not going to be able to get the book open to write on. If you're putting it on as a display, that's perfect. But if you need to, because if you're noticing that too, you can just pop these off and then you could just put a little flat die cut flower in the corner and you would be able to hold it flat if you're planning on writing in it. But if it's just a part of your gorgeous collection or sitting on a um, table like a <laughs> it's been a long week, everybody. What is the word? Like a coffee table. And then this one, the vintage illustration, a little teacup. And look at that wallpaper. Beautiful. Three signatures. This is called Vintage Couple. Similar proportions, florals, light pinks, frames, lace, it's a little flip up, flip down. Paper ribbons. It's kind of a sweet and soft vintage feel embossed texture. If you like a lot of different things in a journal, this would be a lot of fun. Maybe as a glue book and adding your own vintage touches. That's, that's pretty. I think it's embossed paper. So vintage couple. There's the man and the woman there. And the beautiful wallpaper on the back. So those are the journals added today but supplies. We have supplies. Yvette is one of my suppliers. My suppliers are hand-picked as I know they will provide excellent quality for my shop. This is a 16-piece journal card set that is available in the shop. Look at how cute the clusters, the little places to write on the back. Oh, look at how sweet they are. I know somebody is going to adore having these to put in their journals. Look at these little kids. Wonderful little journaling spots. A lot of interest. They would look adorable peeking out of a pocket. Very nice. Those are the type of journal cards that inspire me to make journal cards. Vintage style card tag pocket self, pocket self, pocket set, 12 pieces. There's a little card. So it's kind of double sided. That would be perfect. Something like this is perfect to put in a little see through pocket or a little paper bag. Look at how pretty. Got a square one. This one has a butterfly wax seal on it. Look at that. You can write there, but you have lots to look at. This little envelope is from my script and lace kit. Might want to check that out on my shop but you can see it's a pocket and a tuck spot and you can journal on the back as well so you could either glue it down or use it as a floating pocket same thing here you could write on the back or you could glue it down there's a little tuck spot with a couple pieces of ephemera and there's a little bee with a honeycomb wax seal right there so that's this set absolutely gorgeous Yvette I love the little doodling on the heart This is, these are some tassels. 
I haven't unwrapped them because I want to keep them together. This is called Red Dreamcatcher, hand beaded. I'm excited. Okay. Look at this. Yvette beads her own. Look at this tassel. Oh, so beautiful. That is gorgeous. So this is Red Dreamcatcher. And then she also has a blue dream catcher. Oh, wow. Look at those colors. Look at how beautiful. So that one is blue. You can choose from red or blue or buy both. I want to remind you all. So sometimes I think um, it gets forgotten. But if you have 10 items in your cart, you can use a coupon code free ship 10. And that will take $5.99 off your order, which means shipping is free in the United States and it will be reduced internationally. Don't forget that. So if you are buying six items and you're going to be paying shipping, you might as well add four more, get free shipping and have that money go toward a product instead of toward shipping. You can always add in uh, digitals or prints. So you can probably always come up to 10 and save yourself some money. Wonderland journal tag set, nine double-sided tags with journal spots, one tag holder with a large journal card, sorry, silk and typed accents. I'm not going to pull them all out because she has it so beautiful here and she has it all. Um, she takes pictures of her own items and lists them. So she's taken pictures of this, but you can see Alice in Wonderland themed perfect for your Wonderland journals or maybe just vintage storybook or fairy tale journals. So that is a whole set there. Altered paper clip chain and bead charms. Lots of bags. Okay. Pink, yellow, red altered paper clip charms. Whew. Look at how beautiful. So this one has a yellow, a pink, and a red. So it's fabric and lace, um, embroidery thread, little bulb pin, and then beads. So you get the this set, the yellow, red, and pink is a set. And then she also has like a blue type set. So we'll look at that in just a second. Let me put that away. This one is blue, green, and pink. So here's your green that has a burlap. Isn't that pretty? That would be great for a nature or garden journal. Here's a pink and then there's purple and there's butterflies. And then the blue one I think would be beautiful in a seascape type journal. Isn't that gorgeous? Or maybe a blue and purple floral journal like I have in my shop under junk journals. I think there's two left that haven't sold. That would be a great tassel to add on to that. Or altered paper clip tassel. Okay. Then we have set of teal altered index cards. So teal is the inspiring color of the day here. These are index cards. Look at the little lace at the bottom. Embroidery. Fantastic. Look at her. Oh, so pretty. Look at that gorgeous the little moths all flying around. Oh, that one has the moths on the back too. That is a gorgeous set, Yvette. I love it. Next, we have a stuffed paper bag ephemera holder with three pockets. Holds nine journal cards and tags, double-sided, one crocheted closure, one chain bead altered paper clip charm tassel. You get it all here. Look! Little sweet paper bag. And then all of these tags in here, hand sewn around. Look at the little vintage buttons. So cute. Can you imagine how beautiful a little touch like this would be? You get one of those little paper clip dangles and this is crocheted. These are beautiful to use for journal closures. 
I should do that with the little leftover bits of yarn I have. What a great idea, Yvette. Next, we're going to look at, well, this is the last set of items today. These are still from Yvette. Beaded journal charms. Wood base covered with paper with bead dangles. Each package sold as sets. Okay, let's look at them. Brown bird. How pretty. Isn't that gorgeous? There's the little bird. Oh, can you imagine that? There's his little sister. Oh, so pretty. Imagine those on a journal. So, brown bird. Um, this one is called Pink, please. And there's, I think, three in here. I don't know why that's on there. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I'm seeing these for the first time, just the same as you. Look at that set of three. So pretty. Imagine like a little collection of journals and you could put one as a tassel or a little uh, charm on the spine of each journal. These are pink, please. This set is called Map and Script. There's four here. So there's script and maps. Oh, nope, there's five. This is quite the set. Look at these blue, gorgeous. I love the different sizes. So pretty that that would be so gorgeous in a vintage map book. And then this one is wildflowers. So they look like this. And there's one two, three, four, and five. So pretty. That's wildflowers. And then this one is called Inspired. And there's the circle one. And two little ones. So cute. This one says love, and this one says life is good. So if you were looking for some unique dangles for your journals, Yvette has you covered. These are also great to put on like your purse as like a, just a dangle hanging down from your purse. Be a great conversation starter. Yvette's an amazing artist. This is called Feathers and Hearts. You can see the little hearts at the bottom, the little feathers at the bottom. The purple flowers, the colors are brown, purple, green. Amazing. Pink owls. I'm excited to see this one. Oh, look at that. Oh, how pretty. And I think there's two more here that have owls. So the pink owls is a set of three. So pretty. I would love to see an owl journal. Tammy, I'm thinking of you. Pink owl journal. I know you could do it. Um, all about the blues. Wow. One, two, three, four, five and six. You could definitely make them last if you only use one per journal. They're so eye-catching. You wouldn't have to put them all on one journal. And then pink shabby. Pink shabby. Looks like three. Look at how pretty those are. So those beads are just gorgeous. Can you see that? So that is everything added to the shop today. I hope that you enjoy shopping. I want to thank Yvette as well for the little freebie bag that she gave me with some samples of some of the dangles and paper clips that I can use in my journals. I want to thank you for thinking about me, Yvette. So sweet. Don't forget to shop Yvette's and Chris's and then to look around and see what might be on sale that you'd like to add to your order. I'll see you all next time. Have a wonderful day.